Hey there, I'm John Wheeler with Strategic App Solutions. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through the creation of your very own Apple developer's license. So let's get started. First things first, why does your company need an Apple developer ID? Well, good question. Recently, Apple changed its policy affecting how apps are published to the App Store. Previously, any app created by Strategic App Solutions could be published under our very own Apple developer ID, which made things very easy and affordable for everyone. However, someone over at Apple decided, we want to have our own relationship with the businesses these apps are being made for, and not just the developers. Personally, I think the plan was just a play to get additional hosting fees from all these companies. With over 2 million apps in the App Store, Apple stands to make an additional $120 million annually on this scheme. Minimum. To further complicate the issues, Apple required that each of these new developer IDs could only be established by the owner of the business, or someone who had legal binding authority. To follow along in this video, you will need your iPhone. An iPad will also work. Sorry, Android users, but it's got to be an Apple product. I'm going to go at a nice cool pace through this process, but if at any time you need to pause the video, simply click anywhere on this screen. You can also rewind at any time if you need. The first step is signing in to a new Apple ID. Signing into a new Apple ID is not to be confused with the Apple Developer ID. I know, you would think a creative company like Apple would come up with some better names, right? But I've actually taken the liberty of creating your new Apple ID, which should have been included in the email along with the link to this video. Now, you already have an Apple ID. It's the ID used when you purchase new music on iTunes or download a new app. The reason we aren't using your existing Apple ID is because when we publish your app to the App Store, it carries a $99 annual hosting fee. That fee is covered by your app maintenance agreement with Strategic App Solutions. So we want to make sure that fee goes to your new ID, which we pay for, and you don't get personally charged. I'm hoping you know your Apple ID and password, but relax, I'm not going to ask you for your password. That's your private information. However, our first step is we are going to log out of your current Apple ID and log in with the new ID I have created for you. Don't worry, when we're done, you'll have the opportunity to sign back into your original account following these exact same steps I'm about to show you. Also, nothing we do here will interfere at all with the functioning of your phone. So, let's take a look at your phone. From your home screen, find your settings icon. It looks like this. Go ahead and open your settings. Next, scroll up until you see a search bar. In that search bar, type in iTunes. You are going to want to select the blue icon that says iTunes and App Store. In this new screen, your current Apple ID is listed at the top. Click your Apple ID. Again, I need to be sure you know your Apple ID password because you will need it later when we log back into this account. If you don't know your password, pause this video before you proceed, and in the comments below there is a link to Apple's website. There you will find information on how to reset your ID password if you've forgotten. If you do know your Apple ID password, click sign out in the pop-up window. The area that had your Apple ID previously is now blank and simply says sign in. Go ahead and click sign in now. Next. Find the login information for the new Apple ID I created for you and enter in the new Apple ID and password in the fields provided. When you are finished, press sign in. You should now see your new Apple ID at the top of the screen. Congratulations, step one is complete. On to step two, two-factor authentication. The first thing we need to do here is ensure your phone is set up for two-factor authentication. Two-factor ID is described by Apple as an extra layer of security for your Apple ID designed to ensure that you are the only person who can access your account, even if someone knows your password. So the first step here is to make sure your device is capable of two-factor authentication and that you have two-factor authentication turned on. If not turned on, we need to set it up. Back to your phone. If you're still at the screen where you logged into your Apple ID, Simply hit the blue settings link in the top left hand corner. Now scroll up again to the search bar and this time you are going to type in about. You are going to want to select the icon that says about. Now your phone may transition to a couple of areas, but you will eventually land on a screen that looks like this. More than halfway down, check out that area that says version. This is the iOS operating system your phone is using. Two-factor authentication requires Apple version 10.3 or higher, which came out on May 15, 2017. 
which also happens to be my anniversary. If you don't have a number higher than 10.3, stop. You're done for now, and I'll have to email you special instructions for a previous version. It's not a complicated process, it's just too long to cover within this video, so look at your schedule and shoot me an email when you think you have about 15 minutes to go through it. If your version is 10.3 or higher, even if it says 10.3 yada yada yada, then you are good to go. Hit the general link in the top left hand corner, then hit the settings link. This should take you back to the search bar. Click the small round X on the right side of the search bar, and this time you are going to type in password. Select the option with the blue cloud that says password and security. Again, your phone may transition to a couple of areas, but you will eventually land at this screen. Check out that line that says two-factor authentication. If yours says on, then you're all set. If your two-factor authentication is on and you want to advance to the next section, click the link in the timeline below in the video. Otherwise, feel free to stick around for just a minute. If your two-factor authentication says off, then you have a little work to do. In the next line down, click Turn on two-factor authentication. Next, you will see one of these two screens based upon the version of iOS that you have. Whichever screen you see, press continue. Apple is going to ask you to answer some security questions. You can find the answers to these questions in the original email I sent with your new Apple ID and the link to this video. Go ahead and pause this video if you need and come back when you found those answers. Okay, you're back. Go ahead and answer the first question and do the same for the second. The next screen is going to tell you, enter and verify your trusted phone number. The first field may already be default to United States, but if not, click that field and find United States in that list. In the number field, type the phone number for your iPhone. Finally, select whether you want to receive verification via text or phone number. Let's select text. When you tap next in the top right-hand corner, Apple sends a verification code to your iPhone. Go ahead and enter that number into the field provided. Your phone should now say two-factor authentication is on. You did it. Space. The final frontier. Whoa, whoa. This isn't the final frontier. This is just step three. Now the good news here is we're going to do this next section together. Enrollment verification call. When I create your Apple developer ID, it's going to prompt us for two-factor authentication we just established during the last step. Your job here is very easy. At a scheduled time, I'm going to start the enrollment process, and in doing so, I'm going to ask Apple to send you another six-digit code. I need you to give me that code. The code expires after a short period of time, so we need to make sure we coordinate our schedules. You can find a link in the comments below to schedule a time to provide me that code. Please make sure your staff knows you're expecting the call from Apple. Apple will usually call the same day to verify your enrollment. The people at Apple are very nice and they're always extremely helpful. During that call, Apple will ask if you are indeed the owner of the business or if you have contractual authority. They may also ask if I, John Wheeler, work for you. It is very important that you answer yes to all these questions. The call should go smoothly and afterwards, either shoot me a text, email, or call me up to let me know the call took place. Once your Apple developer ID is approved, we will start working to get your app published. So there you have it. Thanks to this pain in the butt process that Apple has put us through, we've still worked together to get your app published on the App Store. Oh yeah, don't forget to rewind back to step one so that you can log back into your original Apple ID account. Great job, everybody. If you have any questions about this enrollment process or anything else concerning your new mobile app, please don't hesitate to call. Here's my contact information and you can reach me anytime. Thank you for trusting Strategic App Solutions to bring your mobile app to life.